Hello everyone, Vasive here, welcome back to another episode of Selma and the Wisp. We left off on the cool little balloon ride we had going on here, and I said this is the final chapter, so we're going to see what lies step ahead for us. I hope those lightning bolts can't kill me. Hey look, big moon! I feel like that was trying to tell me something. Jump on the buoy, jump on the buoy, jump on the rock, run across. can't really see anything, my TV is really dark right now, so... You need to come back up here. You need to get up here. Why aren't you coming up here, Selma? Selma, for serious. What are you doing? There you go. Jeez, why does she sometimes not do it? I don't get it. Ooh, we got treasure chests down there. The pirate has got his booty. I'm gonna open this door. Blam. Whoa! Big old lighthouse. Oh, she just went through it. That's cool. Whoa! That's actually scared me. Hey, this guy, this thing right here, looks like uh, the air conditioner from Brave Little Toaster. It's not my fault the kid was too short to reach my dials! Another one of my favorite movies. Can you not hop up here? Can you find this? Although that movie has some very terrifying spots in it, but the soundtrack is so good. I can take this kind of pressure. You're worthless. That's one of my favorite songs. It's messed up though. To listen to the lyrics. What am I stuck on? I don't know where to send her. Alright, I'm just gonna die then. I'm gonna listen to that worthless song. Love it, it's so good. Oh, the rain has a pattern. If you look at it and follow it right with your eyes, you can actually just see it has the same pattern. Not random. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on, You gotta do this. You gotta do this stuff. Marcus. Small sky. Can she jump and grab this rope? You're gonna light yourself on fire. How are you not dead? Now you're dead. Or is it because I'm not next to you? How is she not dying? What was that laugh? Right. No. How did I get up here? Stay next to her. Oh, she's like burning. So it's hurt. It's causing it. No. Alright, come back down here. Get your happiness back up. Then we need to figure out what to do in there. Alright. Climb on the bed. Got something to do here. Understand why she can walk in fire now, and I can't get over there. All right, we're gonna do this. No. Okay, now she can get over here. Okay. Now what? Oh, climb. Climb this. Here. Of course, that fire kills you. 
See, that's the kind of game design that really frustrates me. So, I'm standing in this fire, and it's doing nothing to me. And then all of a sudden, a different fire can kill you. It's so frustrating. Like, that fire didn't kill her. It's right in her face. I don't understand. No. Thank you. Climb it! Climb it! Climb it! What are you doing? Do you even know what you're doing? You need to climb this. Thank you. Get you happy back up here. So. Get happy, come on. Hang out here for a second. Let's see if I can break the thing. Nope, I think it should just run across. What? No! She didn't even touch the fire. Uh. Get up here. Over here. Climb this. Climb this. There you go. Alright. It's like if I even touch that thing, it kills me. What's going on up here? Sorry, I'm coming back. Quite sure what to do here. Cause I barely touch it and it killed me. There's no activation stuff. <laughs> That's so stupid. Don't tell me fire's okay and then kill me by fire. Am I supposed to do that in a different order? Does the... Does the curtain actually light that on fire? Yeah, I couldn't get up there without burning the curtain anyway, because it's attached to this thing. Okay. No! No! Come on. Thank you. No! Uh, are you kidding me right now? Get over here. Or just die. That's cool. Creepy ass laugh. I hope I never have to discover what is laughing like that. Yeah, it's already burning. What? What the? I said I could blow something up right there. Or is that just remnants of the chain? Alright. There's got to be something. I'm missing. What's going on? What am I missing here? Do I have to, like, literally miss the fan spots, or do I have to run? Oh, I think I figured out. Okay, so it was teaching me the fire won't kill me. Do I actually have to run where the fire is? On the pinwheel? Climb it, climb it, climb it. Pick this up. Alright. That's what we're gonna try next. We're gonna try running with the fire. That's exactly it. Okay. Well, I feel dumb. Doing exactly what the game told me to do, but backwards, and it's killing me. Run. Uh oh. I meant to run further. What was up with the pitchers? Oh, I'm glad I get to start right here, though. Run, run. 
run across. Oh. Too early. Oops. Ooh, I almost died. Get you right up here. As soon as that spark goes away. Lamp! Thank you for the pictures. Can I climb this one? Yes. That will kill me. This is die! Man! This chick has some dark freaking dreams. I don't know if I can climb that. Come over here. Jump up this. No! Where are you going? I think I can climb that, so I might be try. Come on. Right. Time out. Hop across this. God damn it, Selma. Oh, she's walking outside. Okay. You need to jump across this thing like you did that one time. Thank you. Now how do I get up here? Oh. That is a ramp. No, I'm stuck. Oh, I want that. That looked like a good Obu oh, wisp. I need it. Or is it just trying to distract me? It might be just trying to distract me. I'm confused as to which one I'm controlling. Why is your heart stuff dropping? See shit! Ah! Dude with sword showed up. Most inopportune moment. Right. Now I can probably drop it on his head. Sucker! That was weird, that other wisp that I got. Whoa! My wisp stop. Oh, that's what they told me. It's like my wisp could stop projectiles. Oh, fire! Okay. That's cool. I kind of wish they used that mechanic more in the game, where you use your wisp to protect Salma. That was fun. Oh, it actually fully controls that to show you that it would protect her. Get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here! What are you- Ooh. Just- it, She doesn't do what you tell her to do sometimes, man. It's really annoying. Why can't I move my wisp? that. Yes, it locks. That's neat. You gotta go up this fucking... Thank you. No, well, I didn't mean for you to climb that. Please tell me that's saved. Ugh. Drop it on your head. Just, this just made me think of an interesting idea for a, a game save system. Is a puzzle like this? Like, all right, cool. You're able to pass this part consistently, the last three times in a row. Um. Oh god, that means you a save point happens. Like, you, you're safe now. You don't have to do anything. I hope that's what I'm supposed to do. 
Ow. Man. Get down. This would be great to be like, alright, you passed this pass part three times. God damn it! Why didn't you run up the stairs? Ooh, that's so frustrating. I don't like that part of the game where sometimes she just does things, and other times she just completely ignores it. Like the idea of where you allow the game to try to figure out what the player is trying to do is interesting in theory, but there are some a lot of holes. Oops. Uh-oh. Alright, I kinda wanna observe. I do have to go over there. Okay. Oh god! There's a... a fuse! Okay. I didn't see the fuse at first. Drop on your head. That didn't kill me last time. This is just, this part's just gonna be have to be a patient. Why? Isn't it? Because I have to wait for those things to explode and I have to run back and forth between the stupid arrows. Or can I just do this? Ow! I meant to wait there. Okay. This may be longer than the final episode. Miss. You missed. You missed. Am I safe here? Fire too. Thank you. All right. Should be light the fuse. Okay, the fire kills me now. I don't like that game. Come on, you can't tell me fire safe and then kill me by fire. Stuck again. Ugh. I wish I didn't have to wait through all this the whole time. Why didn't you fucking go up the goddamn... Go up the stairs, you dumb bitch! Oh god, now you're dead. I can't believe you lived. Don't climb those! You need to go back down the stairs! Ooh! Ooh, the salt is real! Dead. All right, I'm getting annoyed at this part of the game because, like, if you could fully control her, this would not be a problem. But it's the broken, rely on the AI to figure out what the user's trying to do mechanic that really ruins it. See? She can't come back down. Right, just climb it. Nope. That's super annoying. Alright. This level gets a straight F from my book.
Unless I'm doing something utterly wrong, which is very possible. But I think I'm actually doing it okay, but... I wish you could run back down the stairs and just dodge the explosion. Dodge the arrows. That sounds like the most efficient way to do it. Climb. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Fucking bitch! I hate this level. This level's stupid. Do this for the thousand billionth time. Yes, oh my gosh, hey look, you can block an arrow. That's cool. Alright, climb. Climb, 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 climb. Okay, cool. Finally. No! You need to come over here, because shit's gonna explode. Please be a save point. No! Oh, come on! Oh, no. Not happy. Not happy at all. That sucked. That sucked a lot. Climb it, climb it, climb it. Fucking go up the goddamn stairs! Oh, why? 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 Oh. I don't understand. Sometimes it works just fine, and other times it totally doesn't. Not okay. I feel like I'm doing it the same way every time. Like, come all the way over, and then rush up the stair. Go, go, go. Go, 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 Fucking... Boy. Alright, anyone watching this, I would like to hear your opinions on this game. Especially this level. Did you find this to be as frustrating as I am? Also, not, I don't want to hear just the complainings. Tell me if you, what you liked about the game, you know? Yeah, I didn't think I was going to block it. Oh well. I'm actually really liking the music. The music is pretty good. Aside from that creepy d demon baby laugh that comes in every now and then. Run. Run. You need to move, Selma. Fucking! You jump into it. Why can't you just fall down? She jumps into the blades. Sure. Better way of doing this that I just don't know. Like, does that need to be booked through? Like this? Oh god. Because then you can catch the saw on its way back. Yeah, you have to book it. Alright. What do I do? Oh, climb that, climb that, climb that. Please be a save point. All these wisps. That's not me. The wisp is pushing her through. What the? What the? Am I dreaming or it's him? 
should I woke up or just scream? Alright, wake up. Oh, that was not okay. What the hell? I don't understand that story at all. But that was creepy at the end. The wisps totally turned on her. And they're like used like as energy. Ugh. That just got dark very quickly. Definitely gonna have to look some theory up on that one because there was really no stories about the whole thing except you just kind of figured out that she had been probably dreaming all that time. That creepy book her mom was reading her. But then at the end, just turned on her. But yeah, we're gonna leave the credits roll through here because you know these people deserve their their due. So you're you're free to cut out from now. I don't think I'm gonna have much more comments beyond what I've already said. You know, always welcome to tune in throughout all this to see these wonderful people making awesome games. Uh, yeah, the biggest complaint I have was the AI trying to figure out what the player was trying to do with the Wisp. That was very frustrating at many parts, where she would just not do what you wanted her to do. I heard that's what a, a big problem with The Last Guardian was, which I actually have on my list of play. I bought that when it first came out, and I never played it. And I've avoided watching any Let's Plays of it, because I don't want to get spoiled. Um, but I may have to do that one on the channel at some point. It's on my list. Uh... But again, same thing, kind of me, the trying to tell the AI to do something and it not responding can be very frustrating. That's always a gamble to do in these kind of games where you give the power of the AI to figure out what a player is trying to do instead of the player being able to do it explicitly themselves. I don't know, I'm rambling now. But this was Selma in the Wisp. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment, but more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up as a possibility of fostering. It's a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive. Thank you for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!